For me, depression and anxiety are like abscesses on my soul that I'm slowly healing with love. It was the second time within two weeks that I sat across from my worst nightmare, the future that I was most likely to live into based on my current life trajectory. I was sitting across from a gentleman, an old white guy, overweight, depressed, using insulin to manage type 2 diabetes. This is one of my closest male relatives and the most likely face of the future that my actions were creating for me. In this video, I'm going to show you how I've been able to start breathing again, to start taking actions, but not only actions, the right actions for me in my life, like this video. This video has been on my to-do list and had been conjuring in my head for over seven years. Now, it's real out in the world, hopefully helping someone. What I want you to take away from this video is the knowledge that every day I am faced with and confront depression and anxiety, but finally have figured out a way for me, which I hope will work for you, to take actions anyway, to get things done. And what I found is the results are quite remarkable, not only in the real world, but on my inner world. I will share with you the three things that got me off the couch, out of my head, and taking right actions. And I guess the most important thing for me to share with you is this, that finally my actions have me on my right path, walking the straight and narrow towards the destinations I'm choosing and avoiding the ditches on either side of my path, one called depression, the other called anxiety, that every time I would start down the middle path, I would either end up in the ditch of depression or I'd start to get out of the ditch of depression and then cross right over my path back into anxiety. So now I'm able to kind of bounce between those two ditches and make progress towards the destination of my choice. Hi, I'm T.S. Hall, the Stoic Medium, a spiritual teacher who teaches old souls how to start taking charge of their lives with simple spiritual practices that have worked since the beginning of time. Before I share with you what I found to work for me, I want to remind you that I'm not a medical doctor. Uh, I'm a spiritualist minister. I'm a spiritual healer. I work on opening the spiritual eyes of your soul, not medical conditions. So what I'm going to show you today works in conjunction with, but does not replace a medical treatment plan. So consult a physician, get yourself diagnosed and start taking care of the physical symptoms. And what I will share with you today will help you start to, to heal from the inside. So you can treat the ontological and spiritual symptoms and the causes, at least for me, of my depression and anxiety. Fair enough? Cool. So after coming face to face with exactly my worst nightmare, I finally understood karma. You know, I've always had the answer for the last 30 years that karma is cause and effect. Karma is simple causation. You reap, what you sow. And having seen the results of what my closest male relatives had sown throughout their lives and seeing the face of their depression ended up being a mirror that allowed me to see my own depression. I realized that karma plays no favorites. It's simply and dutifully allows to come to fruition whatever is planted with the intention that it's planted. 
bingo, bam. I finally understood karma. More importantly, I understood how I had been taking certain actions that gave me results that I didn't really want. But my depression kept me from taking different actions to create the results I did want. You see, I had all the training. I had the intellect. I had the answers, if you will. But none of that was making any difference. It was making difference for those that I ministered to and I trained and I developed and I coached. But it had not, had not made any difference to me in the things that were important to me. It was in this drive home that I realized that my mom may have been right that I was a very smart person, very intellectual, very intelligent, but not very bright in the area of common sense. So in that moment of me trying to reconcile intelligence with common sense, I saw that I created this, this world and this swirl in my head going between an experience of depression and an experience of anxiety, which kept me stuck and not moving towards the things I said I wanted in my life, but rather I was always trying to help others. And through my helping others, eventually, hopefully some of it would rub off on me and I would get what I want. I would be rewarded for my good works. But it was looking into the face of my future, as Thoreau described it, the face of quiet desperation that allowed me to finally understand that I had done really well at one part of this three-part process, but I had not mastered part two or part three. And it's part three that gets the results you want. Yet again, I was there the moment of insight, the moment of understanding exactly why my life was the way it was and why it was not working the way I wanted to. So that moment of insight is where I had mastered and perfected getting to over a lifetime of spiritual practice. But it's the next step that had always eluded me. And how do I know? Because I was not happy with my weight. I was not happy with the condition of my life and my ability to help others the way I want to because I was not happy with myself. So what would be different this time? That was the million dollar question. So I'd been at this crossroads countless times before. I had diagnosed every little thing in my life. I understood exactly why everything happened. I understood why uh, from an intellectual point of view but would I finally get the common sense to come out of the rain and take that next step? And the answer was sitting in the, the truck right next to me is my wife. My wife, Amy, for um, 15 years now, was there. And she's a saint. She's my earth angel. And it was her years of loving acceptance allowing me to go through my process and tolerating my depression and me being basically a miserable SOB that allowed me to do the healing work I needed to be at this crossroads and finally do something different. And that's what this video is about.